In this video, I'm going to show you how you can animate movie bars onto your video footage. Essentially, we're recreating that anamorphic look inside of Adobe Premiere Pro. So let's get into it. So as you can see, I have a 16 by nine composition, 16 by nine footage. But if we wanted to create that cinematic look, then we could just go into project, go to new item, black video, press OK drag that onto video layer two, and then we are going to make a copy of that. So we'll go command C on Mac or control C on Windows, move over and then command V or control V. So C and V, copy and paste. Then we're going to select both black videos. We'll go into effects and search for crop. We're gonna drop crop onto both videos and then on the video below, so the lower level video layer two, we'll go to bottom and select 88. Then we'll go to video three and we'll go to top 88. It's really important that when we do this, that the top and the bottom value are always the same. If for example, the bottom was 88 and the top was 56, you can see it creates this really weird offset. And we always want this to be exactly in the center. Now, as you can see, because I've now added the black bars and essentially changed the aspect ratio, it's now clipping onto the top of my head. So we would need to select the video, go into motion and pull the position down so that we're essentially reframing the video. But let's say we wanted to animate into the bars. So maybe we're going into documentary footage into a nice cinematic sequence. So to do that, we would scroll towards the end of the action. Then we would go on to black video on the top. We would create a brand new keyframe on top at 88. Don't move the position. So we're four seconds and 19 milliseconds. Then move down to crop on the second layer and create a brand new keyframe on bottom and then go to the video footage at the very bottom and reposition this to where you want this to be. So that is there. We create a brand new keyframe on position and now we have created all of our endpoints and they're all at four seconds and 19 milliseconds. This has to be the same. Then we'll scroll back to our start point and we'll go to the top video. So on black video, we want to pull top up to 100%. Then we'll go to our black video on video layer two, pull that up to 100% on bottom. And then on our video footage, we want to just reset this or we can just move this into position, but we want to place this in our original position. Now, if I go into settings and I turn on the transparency grid, if I move this down, you can see that is not lined up perfectly because we can see the transparency grid behind. So if you reset this, make sure there is no transparency grid. Now, when we play this, you can see it's animating and becoming anamorphic. Now that was a very slow animation and it was also a very hard stop. So we are just going to one, speed that up a little bit. And two, we're also going to adjust the keyframes to make that look a little bit more natural and a little bit nicer. I'm going to go halfway through that motion and I'm going to move the second keyframe over to the right. Now on that second keyframe, we're going to right click and select ease in. Then we'll go to the first keyframe, right click and select ease out. Now, without moving the cursor, you want to go to the black video on video layer two. We'll move the second point to the cursor. And again, right click, ease in, go to the first keyframe, right click, ease out. Now we'll go to our footage, move the position keyframe to the cursor again. And again, right click, and this time you'll see this looks a little bit different. So in this example, we want to go to temporal interpolation and select ease in. Then we'll go to the first keyframe, right click temporal interpolation and ease out. And now when we play this back, you'll notice that looks a lot nicer. By changing the keyframes to ease in and ease out, we are essentially easing out and easing in to that keyframe. So rather than suddenly stopping, we are slowly easing in and out. And there you go. That is how you add these fake anamorphic or these movie bars onto your footage and how you can animate them on slash off from widescreen footage. So thank you ever so much for watching this video. I really do appreciate your support and hopefully I will see you in the next video. See you there.